Hi Scorpio, this is Power and Light Tarot and my name is Denise and I'm here to bring you your general read for the month of September 2018 and um, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon and Rising and check your, please check your moon and your rising uh, for more information Scorpio and as usual I'm using two decks for confirmation, uh, repeating cards and a more perfect message and um, let's get started. So um, at the beginning of your reading I'm going to go ahead and pull an oracle card. If this is from the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck uh, by Barbara Moore and um, let's see what relevance it has to your reading. Scorpio what does Scorpio need to know? What are the message for? What is the message for Scorpio? So you have understanding. So um, this may be relevant to your reading, um, and you may be gathering some in understanding about your own situation here. Uh, there is a compelling story here to your reading, and. Um, Understanding may be very relevant, okay? You could be going within uh, to gain that that understanding. So, um, starting out with your reading, the overall energy is the Empress card. Um, what's crossing you is the Two of Wands. Why it's all happening is the Four of Swords in the reverse. In the past, the recent past, we have the Death card. In your Conscious Influence, you have the Six of Pentacles. The near future, we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. You're seeing yourself as the Justice card. Your environment, or how others are seeing you, is the Five of Swords. Your guidance, or your hopes and fears, is the Three of Swords. And your outcome is the Queen of Cups. So let's get started. Um, Definitely you are going through something, Scorpio, um, you know, with this reading. There's a lot of uh, compelling energy here. You do also have a lot of uh, Major Arcana here. You've got the Fool, the Death card, the High Priestess, the Magician, the Lovers, the Empress, the Sun card, the Strength card, the Justice card, and um, the Chariot card. So you've got many, many uh, major arcana here. So let's get started. So your overall energy was the um, is the Empress card, and it's clarified with the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you know the dominant energy here is um, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurian uh, Scorpio, but um, I feel like the energy here is about taking care of yourself. Uh, nurturing yourself, uh, being abundant, you know, having abundance. The Empress is somebody who takes care of herself. Uh, Empress energy is productive, fertile. It is bringing projects to fruition. It can be a pregnancy. Um, it's basically abundance and taking good care and making things happen as well. The Empress does make uh, things happen. She has everything she needs. Okay, so it's here with the Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So I feel like, um, you know, there is a happy home here or a happy relationship that is uh, in the overall energy. And I feel like it's with uh, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, because it's here with the King of Pentacles. So what's crossing you, however, is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers in the Reverse. So, you know, you are somebody, this reading can be for you or it is for you, but it can be um, also, this energy can be uh, somebody that you're dealing with, somebody very close to you, right? So um, somebody's making a decision here with the Two of Wands. And I feel like it is about this uh, happy home or happy reunion, possibly a marriage, uh, 
with the King of Pentacles type. But somebody's making a, a decision, choosing a life path or a life partner. And, um, you know, it could be a lot of work because the Eight of Pentacles is here with the lovers in the reverse. So somebody is uh, definitely trying to make a choice here, either about something that hasn't worked out in the past, possibly with the lovers in the reverse, or maybe there was a breakup. But this is the challenge here. This could be about a choice too, the lovers in the reverse, um, since it's here with the Two of Wands. possible some may, somebody made a bad choice here uh, with the lovers in the reverse. Could be a very difficult situation here. Um, but I feel like whatever this, uh, the two of wands, somebody making a decision here, trying to choose a life, a life partner or a path, um, has to do with, it could have to do with an earth sign since we have the eight of pentacles. But it definitely has to do with um, with a couple, a breakup, because the lovers is here in the reverse. And we know this is about a union because we have the four of wands here. So why this is all happening is the three, the four of swords. I've clarified it. It's in the reverse. I've clarified it with the seven of wands, seven of swords, sorry the Magician card, and the Six of Cups. So you're feeling restless. You or somebody else is feeling restless. You may have gone within before um, to do some reflecting about this situation because the Two of Wands is here, which talks about definitely um, does talk about reflection, trying to make a decision. So this is your root cause, why it's all happening. So you or somebody has gone within in the past, feeling restless now. And somebody, there's some, there is some um, challenging, sneaky behavior here. It's here with the Magician and the Six of Cups. So I feel like this could be somebody from your past. And you could be dealing with a Leo, uh, I'm sorry, an Aries or a Virgo here with the Magician card. But I feel like, you know, you're feeling restless or somebody's feeling restless here and this could be this, possibly it's this person who is, uh, you know, being sneaky here, trying to get away with something. Maybe they feel like they are the Magician, right? Because of their sneakiness. But I feel like it has to do with somebody from the past. It could have to do with children as well. So in the recent past, we have the death card. And this is you, Scorpio, I believe. Um, you know, And it's here, clarified with the High Priestess, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So this could just be you all up in your element in the recent past, you could have found out about some secrets because the High Priestess is here with the Three of Swords. I feel like there was an ending in the past, in the recent past, a breakup with the lovers in the reverse here. So there was an ending and, you know, you could have gone spiritual as possible with the High Priestess here. But there was, there was heartbreak here. And the heartbreak could have been uh, maybe some fast communication that came in. Maybe. With the Eight of Wands. This can talk about fast communication. This can also talk about fast changes. Rapid changes. Changes that are set in motion. So you could have also gone through a transformation because of heartbreak. You could have gone through a transformation in the recent past because there was heartbreak and some secrets. Could have gone through 
you know, an ending here with the lovers in the reverse and the three of swords. There could have been a breakup. There could have been an ending. But you could have gone, you could have uh, went through a transformation because of that. Because of this ending, possibly. But I feel like there's secrets here. With the High Priestess and the Three of Swords. And this is next to the Seven of Swords and the Magician. So I feel like there are secrets here. Somebody's trying to pull something, do something, hide something. And you could be also, you know, over here with the Two of Wands as your challenge crossing you. You know, you could be making a choice, a decision. The Lovers is here in the reverse. Cause could talk about a decision, a choice. Maybe that didn't go well. But this could be about your job. It's possible. This could be about work. You could be dealing with somebody at work, it's possible. Because the Eight of Pentacles is here. Could be too that this decision is just hard work. <laughs> it's a lot of work to make the decision. Uh, that's also a possibility. You could also be thinking of um, maybe relocating for a new job. because of something that didn't work out with the lovers in the reverse. Possibly a choice you made that didn't go your way. Somebody could have came to you with, um, with some heartbreaking information. Sometimes the Eight of Wands can talk about communication coming in, fast news. news coming in about fast changes sometimes. So in your subconscious, uh, rather your conscious influence here, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Fool card, the King of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like you are, uh, you know, thinking about reciprocity and a give and take situation or a give and take relationship. You could be giving to somebody right now. You could be sharing, possibly. You could also be thinking about just trying to uh, even out the scales here with the Six of Pentacles. You know, you could be thinking about um, taking a leap of faith, going out on your own, wanting this even exchange possible you feel like you can only get that if you go out on your own. If you make a new beginning for yourself, you can find this give and take, this, this even exchange, this reciprocity. And I have the Fool and the Six of Pentacles here with the uh, King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you, um, you know, you're wanting this give and take, fairness, balance, you want this, and you're thinking of taking a leap of faith to get it. You may feel like that's the only way you can get that. And I feel like you feel like you uh, have had to take on the King of Swords energy, which talks about not using your emotions so much, looking at things logically, with strategy, analyzing things, and making decisions being clear about it because you want a new beginning here. This is what's in your mind. You want a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign as well. I have in the overall energy we have the the Empress, the Four of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So this is a couple.
So, um, we're going to go on in the extended. Um, there's going to be much more clarity for you, Scorpio. Um, so please join me over there on Vimeo. The link will be below. Now, I have for you uh, the Page of Wands in the reverse, the Four of Swords again, and the Four of Cups here in the near future. So, you know, the Page of Wands in the reverse talks about uh, in the reverse talks about lacking direction or resisting change. So I feel like, you know, it's possible, you know, in the near future that you're going to be maybe lacking direction, which way to go. Because here we have the two of wands, which talks about trying to choose a path. So this is here with the four of swords and the four of cups. And I feel like you're not going to know what to do about something maybe in the near future. Um, but you're going to be going within with the Four of Swords. You're going to be reflecting, meditating, going deep, taking a break, you know, maybe staying home and just having quiet time to figure out your situation. Because you're lacking uh, direction here or you are... Uh, not sure which way to go in a situation, so you've gone within. <clears throat> but you could be resisting change here as well with the Page of Wands here. And this Page of Wands in the reverse. And this is why you have uh, maybe gone within. But, you know, you've gone within um, possibly about an offer or just a situation that, that you really don't want. You could be rejecting something. You could be going within, trying to decide here, you know, um, trying to decide, you know, if you should reject this. Because the Four of Cups is here and it talks about, you know, sometimes an offer being in front of you that you really don't want. You may not even want to look at it closely. But whatever this is that uh, is surrounding a disappointment, some type of a disappointment, possibly something you don't think that's good enough. But I feel like you're, you know, you're either resisting change or you're lacking a direction here. Which way do I go with this? Clearly you've gone within to figure it out. Or to try to figure it out. And your oracle card, you know, is understanding, Scorpio. So I feel like, you know, it is very relevant to your reading. You're trying to understand something here. You're trying to make a decision here. You're trying to carve out a path for yourself. So how you're seeing yourself? You're seeing yourself as a justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra. We do have, um, you know, the Empress in the overall energy, which could be a uh, Libra in energy. But you have the justice card here, justice card here with the um, with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Strength card in the reverse, and the Sun card. So I feel like you're seeing yourself as wanting justice or maybe maybe getting justice in a situation. A situation that has basically uh, want has uh, made you possibly feel trapped. <clears throat> you know, where you're wanting independence here with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And you could be feeling like you're lacking strength here. We have the strength card in the reverse. You're lacking courage. Clearly over here um, in your near future, the page of wands is there in the reverse, which, you know, it's either resisting change or not, or um, a lack of direction. <clears throat> you could have a lack of direction because you're feeling like you don't have a lot of courage here. But you could also be dealing with a Libra. 
maybe you're not having courage to uh, to take this leap of faith because here in your conscious you have the fool you want to take a leap of faith this could be the other person's energy but I think this is your energy here remember how the readings go they can be for you or your significant other whoever you're dealing with but you're wanting to take a leap of faith. I feel like you, you know, you're not, you feel like you don't, you may not have the courage because you're feeling trapped and you want to be single here. Clearly you want to be single. You, you want to get away from this, whatever this is. The Seven of Swords is here. The Lovers in the Reverse more important the three of swords is here and the three of swords shows up twice in your reading we may have a third party here as well there's some other cards here um, that will be um, you know that will be in your extended reading here um, that can suggest that and you know I'll be providing more clarity in the extended um, about the outcome and uh, and more clarity on your reading here. But here you're seeing yourself as either, I think you're seeing yourself as wanting justice, but you're seeing yourself as not having a lot of courage and I feel like you're seeing yourself uh, as wanting the sun too, wanting happiness, wanting liberation, wanting harmony and happiness. And you're seeing yourself as wanting to be single, wanting to be independent, feeling trapped. It could be from a truth. You could feel trapped from a truth. You could be you you could feel trapped from from from, from justice. Maybe you're wanting this justice and you don't have it, and you're feeling trapped. You want this fairness. You want the, the scales balanced. That's what this is. This is your conscious influence. You could also be thinking that, you know, with the Six of Pentacles in your conscious influence, you could be thinking that somebody is in a third party here. Because in the Six of Pentacles, it talks about, it talks about two opposite things. It talks about, um, you know, balance and giving and take between two people. But it can also talk about a third party because this man here is giving to two people. You could also be wanting, um, here in your conscious influence, you could be wanting uh, a new financial future possible, possi possibly, with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles, you could be, that could be on your mind, a financial, you know, a better financial future for yourself. But there's definitely, um, there's definitely some heartbreak here um, with the Three of Swords, and there's some sneaky behavior, Okay, Scorpio, um, I'm going to continue with your reading. Please click on the link um, below and hope to see you over there.